Here with head MSUB women's soccer coach Wojtek Krakowiak in his first season. And coach, obviously you guys are coming off of a great year last year, the second round of the NCAA tournament, and a, a win over Cal State LA. And so just talk about this year's squad and how you guys are planning to build off of last year's success. Well, I think we had a pretty good uh, spring season. The, the, the girls are uh, really happy to be here. And uh, uh, we do have the experience and... and, and uh, we do have a lot of new faces, but I, I think it's going to be a good uh, combination from our current players and the new players uh, because uh, NCAA tournament. I mean, it's hard to get in. It's 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 uh, it's a lot of hard work and dedication and and uh, and we got great leaders on the team. So I think they're gonna they're gonna carry the team and and hopefully we. You know, we'll, we'll get back in the NCAA tournament again. So, And talking about those players uh, and that experience, who are some of the kids uh, that are returning from last year's squad that you're looking to uh, step up into some bigger roles this year uh, after having to replace uh, six seniors from last year's team? Uh, we have, uh, obviously, we have two captains, Jen uh, Larson and Jossie uh, Richter. So uh, uh, they they – they they have to carry the team now. Uh, we lost the obviously a, a big captain Sam Beam last year, but I think they're ready. They 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 had a great spring. They they led the team. They 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 did every little things right. And uh, besides them, we got Kristen, Amanda, Adrian, uh, Heidi, and and Danielle. I think they're they're all ready. They're excited. They I think they're they're looking forward to a new season. And uh, obviously, with every new season, you have some newcomers. Uh, talk about a couple of the freshmen or even some of the transfer players that have come into the program and that you're looking also to, to kind of step up and fill in some of those other voids as well. Well, the new freshman class, I, I think it's kind of early to say because we've only had three days and one exhibition. But um, I'm really happy with the new 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 freshman, new class. They, they're working hard in practice and, and uh, Yesterday was a good, good, uh, good test for us as a, as a team. I think we had a good game. I know we didn't win, but uh, it was a, it was a good, good, uh, good game because a lot of new players play, and we're still we're still working on the formation and and tactics. So uh, I think it's just going to get better and better every every time we play. So uh, I'm I'm pretty happy with the freshman class and and. Uh, I think they're going to help us this year. Sure. And now as we look ahead to the schedule, obviously the first home matches are for the MSUB Cup. We're uh, hosting Colorado Christian and Southwest Minnesota State. Uh, talk about the non-conference schedule first. Um, you know, what you're kind of expecting out of the non-conference season, the uh, the quality of the opponents, and uh, just, you know, what, what the goals are a little bit to, to begin the season. Well, I like, I like to go game by game. I don't really think about, you know, uh, other games, uh, you know, if we have a game on Saturday, we, we think about the game on Saturday. But I think it's a, it's good to play some of the, you know, non-conference games. They kind of get you ready for the conference because obviously the conference is pretty tough and there's there's no room for mistakes. So against the non-conference games, um, we might make some mistakes. Hopefully they're not going to be big mistakes. But if we do, that's, I mean, that's a good lesson for us to correct those mistakes and, and, and move forward with, you know, GNAC games because it, there's obviously no room in GNAC games, so you have to be really, really careful in what you do and how you prepare the team. And, and talking about the great Northwest Athletic Conference games, obviously a very stout conference, especially in women's soccer. I mean, you have Seattle Pacific, Simon Fraser, Western Washington. MSUV has stepped into that level, but don't forget about NNU and, uh, and Central Washington and Western Oregon. Those guys can always come up. So as, as you head into the season and you get through the non-conference, talk about the conference schedule and, you know, who, who are some of the teams that are going to, you know, probably step up a little bit this year and become – more of a contender. Well, I, I, I mean, you, it's Gina. I guess is it's pretty competitive on any given day. Anybody can win. So it, it, the the teams, you know, if you look at three four years ago, the, you kind of knew who's gonna, you know, who's gonna win. Now it's it's very very competitive. You you just don't know. I mean, uh, 
Uh, the gap is closing. The, the scores are one zero two one zero zero. So it's 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 getting pretty pretty hard. And you just I don't know. I mean, it's it's a big question mark who's going to win it this year. So it's um. I mean, I I like the competition. I mean, that's this is this is why I coach. You know, like. Uh, so it's a. Uh, it's going to be tough, but it, it could be done. Yeah. All right, and lastly, just uh, what are some of the goals that, that you and the team have set for yourselves uh, as, you know, we we're only in the first week of the preseason, but what are some goals you guys already have for the upcoming season? Well, obviously academic goals are um, have a team GPA 3.3 uh, soccer-wise. Um, obviously, get back to the tournament and, and pass the second round. So that's that's the that's the big goal in order to do that you have to be top six in the in the west uh, region so uh, those are big goals but you know we did it last year we can do it this year we can do it next year so it's uh, it's it's doable it, it takes a lot of work but it's it, it could be done and also we want to do five hours community service so we kind of have to squeeze that in in the busy season but uh, those are the like the main three goals for the season all right, Coach, thank you for joining us. And for those of you out there, you can follow along all season long on MSUBSports.com. Use the website link and follow along on the web streaming for every live home soccer match. Coach, thank you. Thank you.